Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richard Plunker from the Puppetum Geek, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to install QWorld a lot easier way than I was showing you, you know, a week ago and the last video that I did yesterday. Now, still, some of you guys are having problems. Hopefully, this fix will fix all of your problems, I guess. The guys at Code Weavers have just, not that they just released it, they released it a couple of days ago. Uh, one of you guys have pointed out to me, which is amazing. So, hopefully, I'm making this video, which I can show you if you guys haven't discovered it already. So, what you want to do is same thing as always go to the Picorama website, download the game. I've already downloaded that, so I'm not going to waste time doing that. Uh, and I assume most of you guys have already done this. If you haven't, um, again, you can follow my step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. I will be changing my, um, you know, on my article, so it makes it a lot easier to follow. So be sure to check that out. So once you've downloaded it, what you want to do is open crossover. While that's opening, we're going to go to here, codeweavers.com slash via slash um, Cube World, I'll put a link down below to that, where kindly the guys at Code Weavers, uh, the makers of Crossover, have made an easy to install step, three steps basically to install Cube World on your Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is done. We're going to go, we're still on the trial, so we're going to go try now. It's going to do its little thing and open. Okay, so there we go. And once that's open, what you want to do is go to step two, install Cube World now. Just click on that. It's going to run all these little things. Uh, like what we we're doing before with the DirectX plugin. Hopefully this fixes a lot of the issues which you guys have been having. Um, again, you know, same procedures if you watch my previous videos. You're just going to go through everything. It's going to do its little spiel and then it should select it. Oh wait, we'll just wait a little while. Okay, so I'm just going to go through everything for you guys step by step. Now, as you can see here, uh, it is still not supported by Code Weaver, so hopefully in the coming days or weeks, it will be supported and it will run a lot better. I'm sure the guys at Code Weavers are working hard at it. So we're going to go here. Yep, that's it's already found it, which is amazing. Um, now the bottler, we're going to go choose new bottler, uh, WinXP bottler, and we're going to call it Cube World. 4,000. <laughs> okay, install that. Okay, guys, so once that's all done, as you'll know, it does take a little while to install, do the whole procedures and everything, but basically what we are doing right now um, is going through the steps as we did before when installing the DirectX user uh, plugin from um, Code Weavers. So this is basically skipping that step and having it all in a bundled sort of file, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go uh, do the same thing next, accept, next, 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 install. And then again, finish. And I'm going to log in. And as it says there, installation is complete. We can um, click done. And hopefully this launcher will install. Okay, so once that's all updated, just click play. And it should just boot up. Now, some of you guys said that it doesn't, when you click play, it doesn't actually play. Maybe, I'm not too sure what problem that is. Um, but hopefully there will be a fix um, in the coming days. And there we go. Cube world in its glory. So start game. Let's create a new character. Let's actually name him something this time. Richie. As you can see, I'm, I'm moving around. It's pretty good. Um, obviously, we're not in game. But let's just name, leave him at that. And then we'll create a character. We'll create a new world. Also, for you guys saying multiplayer, you can go to multiplayer worlds. Um, and then create a world from there also. Uh, but we're going to go to this. Create a world. We're gonna name the numbers one, two, three, four, five. Name Cube World, I guess. So there you go, guys. Cube World. Moving around. Whoa, what are those things? Okay. We might run away from those. <laughs> and yeah, it works um, it's fine. 
I mean, like some of you guys were saying, it is a bit laggy. Um, and to fix this, I found if, um, if we just open up the menu. Let's go here, go to options, and then oh, what I did was I sort of changed this about there, uh, and also the frame rate. I sort of dropped the frame rate to about 66. Apply. Yeah, and that, that sort of made it a bit better. It didn't actually make it, you know, completely good, but it's playable. That's that's the main thing. Um, you you just want to make sure you're not running, you know, anything in the background. I mean, uh, I'm actually, you know, capturing this, so this could be why it's actually having all those problems. Also, um, whoa, what is that? Jesus! Oh my God! Everything is attacking me. Let's get to the top of the hill. I'm the king of the world! Oh my god, whoa. Whoa, I lost a lot of health. From that. Bungie! Yeah, I knocked myself out. <laughs> oh, fuck. So there you go, guys. I got, uh, you know, I don't know what happened. Just knocked out from that rock. Um, I recommend don't put in the seeds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because I did that a couple of times and you basically you spawn into a world where it's just full of like creatures who are just like badass. Anyways, um, that's it for me guys. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it's a bit more easier to follow. Uh, like I said before, this is basically the same procedures that we did in the other videos, just that it's just a one bundled sort of... Um, file when you click instead of the direct x user installment thing we're clicking QBoard, which has everything all bundled up in there so it just makes the process a little bit easier and easier to follow but i'm not too sure if any of you guys might encounter the same problems that you had before because obviously i didn't run into any problems and i don't know how to sort of replicate that problems that you guys are having because if i could then after then obviously i'll be trying to find a solution to get the game working other than that, be sure to follow the guys on uh, co from Code Weavers. Obviously, they'll be having updates. Follow their blog. Uh, you can follow myself on the Puppetum Geek. Uh, com, where I have updated articles on how to install Cubeworld on your Mac. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, and hope to guys to catch you later. See ya.